My name is Davina Stringer, and I have the privilege of serving as the Winkley Elementary Principal. Our vision at Winkley is to empower master learners as purpose-rich leaders with curiosity and courage for our intercultural world. It's a really big vision. <laughs> and thank goodness, I get the great pleasure of introducing Anissa Montez, who is our Winkley Student Council Spirit Leader. And Anissa is going to moderate our showcase this evening and talk to you about how our master learners and innovators are making our Winkley vision come to life. Anissa? Thank you. Hey y'all, I'm Anissa Montes, and I am in a fifth grade student here at Winkley Elementary. Tonight I will be moderating this board meeting, as <laughs> Dr. Stringer just said, and I'd like to introduce some of our administrators. Mr. Norris, our assistant principal of Winkley, and uh, Ms. Kasberg, our counselor. <laughs> okay. We're also joined by some of our master innovators, Mrs. Murphy and Mrs. Reed, to include universal design for learning guidelines that teachers use in classrooms. You have the UDL, UDL guidelines if you would like to follow along. How about we kick off the evening with a, with, with a mindful and calm headspace. Here at Winkley, we use mindful strategies to help stay focused in learning and resolve conflict. My friends Emma and Hannah will demonstrate that for us. Thanks, Anissa. The first step of brain train is mindful breathing. Deep breathing can help us regulate our nervous systems. I'm going to use the uh, ball to practice our breathing. If you don't have a ball, you can use your hands. When the ball opens, breathe deeply through your nose, and when the ball closes, breathe out through your mouth, exhaling all of your breath. Let's, let's breathe in. And out. One more time. Breathing in and breathing out. Thank you for moderating tonight, Anissa. Now we're going to do a mindfulness mantra. The mantra is a great way to have power over your negative thoughts. The mantra is mindfulness begins with me. You're going to start with your pointer fingers and end in your pinky fingers. You will say the mantra once out loud, once in a whisper, and once in your head. Try it with me now. Mindfulness begins with me. Now we are going to do some stretching. Stretching helps us stretch our spine. If you are already in a chair, bend down to your feet for a few seconds. After a couple of seconds, wait. After a couple of seconds, we are going to sit up and zip up our spine. And zip up your spine. Lastly, mindful listening is focusing our attention on the sound of the bell to calm our bodies and minds. When you hear the bell ring, focus on the sound. When you hear the sound stop, raise your hands. Thank you so much. Wow, thank you, Emma and Hannah. I know I feel much more relaxed sitting here now. This practice not only helped us feel more comfortable while we're standing and sitting here, but also supports several universal design for learning checkpoints, including 3.3 and 7.3. We know that some aspects of a typical classroom can be distracting and even threatening to some learners. But by creating a space where we remove the barriers of threats and distractions, we are allowing all learners to be more fully engaged to access their instruction. I'm already feeling more calm and centered. Now I'll turn it over to Olivia, one of our co-presidents, and talk about, to talk about the student leadership opportunities at Winkley. Thank you, Anissa. I am Olivia Bullard. And? Let me try. 
Thank you, Mindfulness Student Leaders. Student Council at Winkley Elementary plays a vital role in hearing student voices through elected class representatives. We provide opportunities to share ideas and give all students practice in democracy in action. Student Council planned a Buddy Day on February 22, 2022. This Buddy Day gave our incredible teachers time to plan for our learning while students were engaged in connection through participating in the Student Council's organized and planned activities. Matthew's idea of paper airplane throwing contest was a favorite among the students. <laughs> Thanks, Olivia. The Lander ISD graduate profile has been woven into project-based learning and digital portfolios in the fifth grade. Last week, we completed our level five cardboard arcade, and throughout the year, we have been working on creating our digital portfolios to carry on with us to sixth grade. I'm gonna lay out the uh, arcade planning process. The arcade not only gave us the choice to choose who we were working with, but also gave us, uh, sorry, the arcade not only gave us the choice of which people to work with, but also what game we made and what its rules went along with the game. Our game was uh, our game was a cardboard ring toss named Loop It. All Winkley learners visited the cardboard arcade and played the games, including our special program. We collected data on b wins and losses, and our game had 147 wins. This arcade also served as our business fair, and we earned 200. Th uh, $2,100, which we used for a field trip and are soon to be our end of year part party. Fifth grade has also been complying resources during every six weeks to include our digital portfolio. This portfolio will be an incredible tool of reflection as we move forward into sixth grade. Not only can we view our evidence of learning in the portfolio itself, but we can also express how the evidence of learning ties into the graduate profile indicator. Take it away, Collins, for our digital portfolio explanation. Hi, my name is Collins Maxwell. These digital portfolio help us to organize our past work to show what we've learned. It's really fun to put together. It's also really cool how you learn new technology, like putting links into the por portfolio. I've used the portfolio to explore my passion projects. I've done two so far, one on miniature dachshunds and one on kayaking. I'm proud of myself for how much I've learned at Winkley, and having this portfolio is a way I can look back and celebrate my learning. Wow, those projects are fantastic, Anissa and Collins. Learning experiences like the digital portfolios and the cardboard arcade provide a gold mine of options for recruiting interest, which is guideline seven in the Universal Design for Learning framework. And Winkley teachers allow students to create products that showcase their personal strengths and their unique backgrounds. They also gave students opportunities to show those products to a real audience of their peers and their community. And by doing that, it made the learning experience valuable and authentic. I don't know about y'all, but Winkley Wolverines love reading and engaging in book clubs. I'm gonna invite fourth graders Jackson, Kaylin, Myra, Daniel, and Miles to talk about the way that student voice and choice can shine in student-led book clubs. These students will also share with you how small group math has been a game changer in their mathematics learning this year. Thank you. In our book clubs, we have choices at every step of the process. We select a book with our teammates and work through a book club guide that is customizable for each book club. <coughs> We are assigned roles and chapters, and we meet each week to share our understanding of the book and present our roles to our teammates. At the end of the book club cycle, we choose a final product to showcase our learning and understanding. Here's our project from our last book club. Let's see. Over here we have the summary. Uh, it says that Lena and Dune are two best friends that uh, got separated after an argument. Uh, let's see. Uh, oh, yeah. Uh, one day a box opens, but Lena's sister chews it, uh, the paper, or yeah, to chews up the paper that was in uh, the box. Lena is shown Dune 
uh, the paper, and after a while, Junalina thought it was a puzzle to get out of Ember through the pipe works. Or, yeah, pipe works. Uh, they did not know that at first, though. But then they had eventually made it out and Poppy, or with Poppy and found a hole in a mountain, or out of a hole in a mountain. Uh, they both went inside and found their city. June uh, wrapped a message in his shirt and throwed it down into the cave uh, that, to their city. Will they be alone? Will anyone uh, find the message and find out by reading the next book? Small group math stations make me feel very included because I know that everyone at the table will help me if I have a question. So uh, if it, it helps me feel more confident having small group instruction. And going back to book clubs, some of the book club roles are the word wizard, the discussion leader, the chief connector, super summarizer, a character analyst, setting analyst, artful artist, and plot expert. And some of their final product ideas are movie trailer, the brochure, a uh, poster, an alternative ending, book talk, uh, a newscast, a drama, and a quiz that you can make. Wow, all those choices you all get during book clubs are amazing. This goes along with the UDL checkpoint 6.4 and 8.3. And when you choose your final product, that shows how this has been designed with UDL checkpoint 5.1 in mind. I also know that during math small group time, students are given choice about math stations as well as setting personal and academic goals and reflecting on their own progress. Giving the students choice in their work and a voice of setting their own goals is not only powerful, but also aligns with UDL Checkpoint 6.4. At Winkley, we have over a dozen student-led clubs on campus. We have a recycling club, a girls club, a run club, a history club, a gardening club, and a no-bake club, just to name a few. Today we will showcase our Uniquely Me Club, which, is, which has been made possible through a partnership with Unified Champion Schools. Uniquely Me Club is all about making connections. Riley here is, to, is here to share what Uniquely Me Cl Club has meant for her and her friends. I get to do fun activities and meet new friends at Uniquely Me Club. At our last meeting, we made self-portraits and talked about how we are all different. We all look different and we all learn different and think differently too. Here's my self-portrait. My friend Reagan couldn't come tonight, but she did a really great job with hers, too. None of us knew that she wanted to have purple and blue hair before this activity. <laughs> it's fun to make new friends and learn more about them. Thank you, Riley, for being a compassionate community contributor. The clubs that we have offered this year follow UDL Checkpoint 7.2. The students have provided the club ideas that have enticed them to be involved in activities that are relevant and valuable to their personal interests and goals. The student voice has resulted in increased engagement, increased confidence, and goal-directed participation. Uniquely Me Club exists to bring students with and without disabilities together to nurture friendship through fun. It's one way that we're fostering collaboration and community, which is checkpoint 8.3, while also giving students explicit instruction and scaffolded support to acquire social skills, build empathy and understanding. And that all ties into UDL guideline three. In all of the ways that we incorporate the Universal Design for Learning framework and we give students options in the what, why, and how of their learning, we are seeing our Winkley vision come to life. These amazing students who you have listened to tonight and all of our Winkley Wolverines are empowered master learners and innovators. They are purpose-rich leaders. They are courageous and curious in our intercultural world. We thank you for having us out tonight to spotlight the incredible things going on at Winkley Elementary. Fairness is Leander ISD ethical principle for April. And at Winkley, we believe that fairness does not mean everybody should get the same exact thing. 
Fairness means that everyone should get what they need to be successful. Think of the platinum rule to support the definition of fair that, fairness. Treat others the way they need to be treated. We, sorry, um, thank you for everything you do to help all of us in Lander ISD and get what we need to be successful. Go ahead, Winkley students, come on in so we can see y'all. <laughs> Winkley students, that is fabulous. Y'all did amazing. Staff, y'all did good too. But students, y'all did amazing. 